Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting Trains and today you're joining me on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark as we're about to embark on an absolutely epic modelling adventure here as I put together this whopping kit from Metcalf. This I think is actually going to be a pretty cool kit. Obviously I'm being humorous with the extent of modelling involved here. As you can see this is a Goods Yard Crane mini kit and these are basically, well, we'll have a look at it. But there's an actual real life chain included. Let's get stuck in. So rather amusingly, my friends, even though the kit is absolutely miniature, there's actually two instruction sheets here. And well, if we pan over to the actual kit itself, you can see we've obviously got our wooden beams here. And then if we very carefully try and hold the camera still so it can focus, you can see have a nice laser cut pieces here of the gearing and the little uh, sort of, I don't know what you'd call these, the anchor points for want of a better term. And of course, wow, our real life chain. Right, this is probably going to be a, a quick job, but I don't want to say that until it's finished. Okay, my friends, I am literally using a pin, that's a drawing pin, to build the first little set of gears on. And, uh, well... As I say, that's a drawing pin. That should sum up how miniature and fiddly this is. And of course, by zooming in like this, you can see it looks all like a bit rough than that. Obviously, this is huge compared to what it actually looks like in real life. Uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting model. So, as you may notice here, there's been a slight change in the background that this modelling was taking place in. And that's because I didn't actually have my proper light magnifying glass for my desktop to uh, view all these little parts through when I was on the boat, as I'd at that point decided to sell the boat, which I've since decided not to. So I had to fetch it all into town to continue using the magnifying glass at my mum's house. And as you can see, it's a really simple build. It's just the fiddliness that slows you down. And especially things like uh, putting these little bits together, the wooden beams, really simple, really straightforward. Just a case of taking the time to really straighten it all up and get everything nicely lined up as you're building it. Um, one of the things I want to say, that initial piece that I was building, the four separate little cardboard discs on top of each other on the drawing pin, the five holes around the outside of the central uh, I don't know, axle of the cog, that's the best way I can describe it, those holes go through all four of the cardboard discs. So that front part there, the smaller set of discs, those holes do actually go right the way through and you can see straight through it. And you can imagine uh, that sort of scale and using a drawing pin and a pair of tweezers, trying to get those to line up was about the most fiddly job I've ever done in my modelling career so far. But I'm really pleased with the way this looks. You'll see in the final shot I've just got it set up just with a few N-Gage buildings in the background and an N-Gage Oxford model just to give you a rough idea of what it looks like and how it would take its place on the layout. And well, you'll see that in just a second. But I've got to say, I'm really, really pleased with it. Very simple job, just a very fiddly job, as so many things with modelling are. Okay, so as we wrap up, I'll just give you a close-up look of what this looks like with some other N-Gage bits and pieces in the background and just with a little N-Gage Oxford die-cast mechanical horse three-wheeler there. Absolutely lovely stuff. So, I'll simply say thank you so much for tuning in. Please do subscribe for loads more N-Gage and railway videos and other little bits and pieces to do with modelling. Feel free to check out my normal channel about life on a boat, which is just called Sort of Interesting, and you'll find a load of links in the description where I get up to all sorts of stuff out and about on the canals and modelling and what have you on Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I'll leave you to check out the links in the description on your own there. Until the next time, my friends, keep it interesting, keep it loco-worthy, and of course, my friends, have a fantastic day and farewell.